Welcome to another episode of Optimal Anesthesia. Today, we have a compelling case to unravel, a minimally invasive thyroidectomy for a 35-year-old patient with a BMI of 30. Fear not the medical intricacies, we're here to make it a captivating journey. Envision this, a 35-year-old female, BMI 30, stepping into the realm of minimally invasive thyroidectomy. It's not just a surgery, it's a coordinated performance between the anesthesiologist and the surgeon. Let's peel back the layers of this captivating story. In the 1990s, a wave of minimally invasive techniques swept through the medical world. Surgeons were on a quest, seeking ways to make surgeries less invasive while preserving efficacy. Fast forward to the early 2000s, and the era of endoscopic thyroidectomy emerged. Surgeons embraced endoscopic techniques, crafting smaller incisions and enhancing cosmetic outcomes. Now, our narrative transports us to 2002 in South Korea, where Dr. Hoon Yub Kim and Dr. John Lorenzo Dianagi reported the first endoscopic thyroidectomy. Picture a small incision in the axilla, the armpit, and the use of endoscopic instruments marking the inception of a new era in thyroid surgery. Now, let's enter the operating room. Our patient lies supine with the neck extended, ready for the performance under general anesthesia with endotracheal intubation. Anesthesia takes hold, the patient peacefully asleep. Monitoring gadgets awaken ECG, NIBP, pulse oximetry, and capnography, ensuring the patient is in skilled hands. Trocars, pneumoinsufflation, and carbon dioxide, it might sound like elements from a sci-fi movie, but it's the formula for creating the perfect canvas for surgery. Pneumoinsufflation inflates the surgical space, providing room for the surgeons to choreograph their way through the procedure. And throughout, our anesthesiologist takes on the role of the conductor, ensuring the harmony of the orchestra, or, in this case, ventilation and ETCO2 levels. Now, let's highlight the true heroes of our narrative, the Valsalva maneuver and controlled hypotension. Picture the surgeon at the end of the performance, executing the Valsalva maneuver to ensure no unexpected surprises. Simultaneously, controlled hypotension steps in, reducing bleeding and elevating the anesthesiologist's role in enhancing the surgeon's view. It's akin to adjusting the spotlight for the grand finale. But wait, there's more. Picture the end of the procedure, the neck flexion. It's like the encore, inspecting for any last-minute surprises. Oh! and our patient gets an A-list treatment during extubation, no buckling, no drama. Just a smooth exit from the grand stage of surgery. And there you have it, a minimally invasive thyroidectomy, where science meets art, and anesthesiologists and surgeons dance in perfect harmony. Our patient, the star of the show, gets the VIP treatment for a healthier, happier finale. Thanks for joining us on Optimal Anesthesia. Until next time, stay inquisitive, stay vigilant, and keep exploring the mesmerizing world of anesthesia with us. Cheers!